Each show, we introduce you to some of the hottest bands around. Tonight, we're breaking it down with the Breakdown Kings. Hello, mama. You guys were describing yourself as a rock, hip hop, soul funk excursion, and an amalgamation of awesomeness and badassery, which is a mouthful, by the way, I must say. So explain to me a little bit about kind of that combination. It's pretty unique. We cover all the bases. If you want to dance, if you want to laugh, if you want to cry, if you want to live, it's the Breakdown Kings. You need it. <laughs> I mean, we really would just get in a garage and somebody would hit a string, uh, a drum tap, and one thing led to another. And next thing you know, we had a song. And we did that multiple times and not knowing really what direction we were going. It just came out and the awesomeness began. I actually was at that concert at Incubus. And what was that feeling? You see this huge crowd at Clips, and you go out there and you just freaking kill it. And all these people are cheering for you. They know your name. They know your music. They start following you. How, what is that rush like when you step on that stage? We actually saw people come in and stop mid-bathroom walk. It was like, what is that? What is, what is that? What is that amalgamation of awesomeness and badassery that has that has grabbed my attention? You guys have all these bands around town. A lot of people um, that you may know. It's probably a small little community. So, exactly like, how do you guys separate yourselves? What makes the Breakdown Kings the awesomeness of indie? We'll take a song and we'll go from a reggae song, and the very next song that we do is just a chilled out jazz song where we're singing instead of rhyming. Um, I think the thing that sets us apart is uh, you see a lot of these uh, uh, bigger bands where they'll have a song, but it's featuring so-and-so and featuring so-and-so. Uh, we have the privilege of having three vocalists in this band, along with three other vocalists that can sing. So we do that all internally. Um, I just think we have an element that not too many people out there have. We're going to do a series of album release uh, shows slash parties. Um, the first one will be June 8th at Whiskey Business and on the east side on Pendleton Pike. They're going, no, the album does not drop, it descends. <laughs> June 8th, Whiskey Business, out there on Pendleton Pike, y'all know where it's at. Come on out Pendleton Pike, right there, 67 in Oakland and Road. 